I mean, what kind of dancing did you do? What, what is your arts background? Oh, so I, I uh, grew up learning ballet um, and performing Chinese cultural dances. I'm actually performing this Thursday for the step unveiling and for Chinese New Year. So I've been dancing oh, my entire life. Cool. I okay. teach dance. I'm also uh, a visual artist. I've painted murals. Um, did some painting as well. And so I really love the arts community and want to learn more about how we can save, it. is it your hist is it a historic building or just, just a, a I, place for a community and arts? Well, the Trading Musician has been a beautiful music shop for over a generation for 32 years. And unfortunately they're selling it and it's going to close soon. So, uh -huh. so that message that I put out today was partly from the employees who work there, but also for all the musicians in town who love that place. But, you know, we've seen a lot of cultural art centers kind of disappear so we're all concerned you know that galleries and music venues can stay open a lot of them made it through the pandemic thank goodness you know we were really worried that none of them would but it's you know with some with loans and subsidies at work so of course as an artist i'd be looking for more subsidies for the arts of course yes, yes we have amazing inspire grant from king county with for culture there's unfortunately like the last couple years listen all these grants dry up and hopefully you know with with that uh, new king county grant hopefully we'll see more out there do you have a favorite ballet that you you like oh i guess swan lake is coming to seattle right now right i love the new things that are coming out. Nutcracker is always my favorite, um, but yeah, I, I, that's kind of hard because there's also some Chinese classical um, ballets as well that I really enjoy. So. Thank you so much Thank for your time. You. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you for coming down here. Okay. Okay.